Brian Stelter defends Fox News. Mr. Reagan. So last night, Brian Stelter had on his show Chris Ruddy. Now, Chris Ruddy is the head of Newsmax. He is an awesome guy. I know him personally. I texted him after the Stelter interview, and I said, you did an amazing job. Chris Ruddy, during this interview, he starts talking about how Fox News was not covering the election as ideally as we might want to do. Right? He said basically what we were all thinking. And Brian Stelter comes out, and he starts defending Fox News. This is unbelievable. you got to check this out. Meanwhile, they wouldn't call Florida for hours. Why? What was going on at Fox News that they didn't want to give the president the sense that he was winning or had the potential shot of winning? Fox um, has a I great decision when, desk. I respect their decision desk. They don't, they, don't, they don't do it like that. They don't play games like that. Chris? I think media malpractice, let's look at the Fox News poll. It was off by, what, eight points? Almost every poll was, in, the data coming out of Fox was not good at all. Yeah, we're going to get into the uh, polls, but but the Fox uh, the Fox polls were scientific. They were trying their best. Mind blown. I, I genuinely feel like we are currently in the twilight zone, right? Brian Stelter from CNN, <laughs> the little troll, <laughs> is defending Fox News. It really is like the world of the upside down or whatever, right? Now, a lot of conservatives have been criticizing Fox News lately for not respecting you know, conservative ideas, the perspective of the conservatives that are watching Fox News. And for a long time, I was defending this, right? There was an instance where the um, billionaire Porge Poros, I think you know who I'm talking about, uh, was mentioned on the show. I believe it was by Newt Gingrich. And one of the anchors, um, I forget her name, it's the black girl that does the stuff in the morning, um, whom, whom I like, I actually like her a lot. She there was an awkward moment where it looked like maybe she was cutting him off or something like that. And people were saying, oh, Fox News won't let, let you mention Porge Poros. Now, this comes from a history that Fox News have of suspicious activity with regard to that particular man, uh, because Glenn Beck, I believe, left the show after doing a number of reports on this particular billionaire. And a lot of people suspected that maybe that's why he was forced to leave Fox News. So a lot of people have been suspicious about Fox News in this particular arena. Now, and, and this may be true, they may be, the, the criticism may be totally appropriate. But I will say this, that particular interaction where Newt Gingrich, I think it was Newt Gingrich, mentioned the name Porch Poros, I don't believe he was cut off there. I think there was some kind of a delay in the satellite uh, and it just seemed like maybe there was some funny business going on. It's just weird timing. I don't think that was indicative of anything wrong with Fox News. So I defended them at that point. Now I'm finding it much more difficult to defend them. And there's another couple of stories I'm going to bring up in these what I call Mr. Reagan headlines where I discuss other issues I've been having with Fox News recently. But this one is particularly severe because Fox News does not seem to be looking at this election with the same kind of skepticism and cynicism that the rest of us have. They seem to be acquiescing to the perspective of the left. They're just accepting the numbers. They're not looking into any of the voter fraud. They don't seem to believe that this is a significant concern, which the rest of us are like, what are you doing, Fox? Now, Chris Ruddy also talked a little bit about the suspension of Janine Pirro, Judge Janine, whom we all know and we all love Judge Janine. So Brian Stelter criticized Chris Ruddy for this as well. He says, oh, actually that is not true. What you're saying now is false information. He says, where did you get this false information? Because this is not true. Judge Janine was not suspended. Here, let's watch that clip. Max's television network last night saying Janine Pirro has been suspended from Fox News. Fox News flatly says that is not true. I've been texting with the head of PR. She says it is not true. Where are you coming up with that bogus information? We never said, we said her show was suspended for the night. Nope. So read the, the banner on screen, the banner on screen hey, said Janine Pirro is suspended. And on the homepage of Newsmax.com right now, it, well, as of 20 minutes ago, it's, well, you changed it. It, it had a headline so, about Pirro saying she's been suspended. Look, Janine Pirro, just go to Newsmax and check it out yourself. We have the story. Janine Pirro's show was supposed to go on. She was going to make a very strong supporter of the president. Uh, talking about vote fraud, they did not want that show to air. And Janine Pirro has not said that the story's bogus. 
Uh, okay, that's an interesting hint. You're implying that perhaps uh, there is a dispute between Pirro and Fox. I don't know if that's true. Now, here's the thing about this whole Judge Janine situation. This is true. Judge Janine was suspended from Fox News. I don't know how long her suspension is going to be, but she was on Sebastian Gorka the other day. And if you don't watch Sebastian Gorka, I highly recommend it. Excellent man, great uh, uh, guests, and one heck of a voice he's got on there. But Judge Janine was on his show and said specifically that she was suspended, in fact. And she really does believe that there's been voter fraud, and she's in a great position to be able to talk about this stuff from a legal point of view. And Fox News would not air her show, and they suspended her, and that is true. So Brian Stelter coming out and saying to Chris Ruddy, where are you getting these, this false information? Where are you getting these lies from that you're broadcasting on your network? Pretending that, that Newsmax, right, which is Chris Ruddy's news company, to suggest that Newsmax is somehow distributing fake news or something like that, I mean, it's really rich coming from Brian Stelter, who every single night on his show distributes fake news to his viewers, just straight up lies to the CNN viewers. He's calling Chris Ruddy an irresponsible news person? No, 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 no. Chris Ruddy is presenting the news accurately. And if you don't watch Newsmax already, you gotta be watching Newsmax because everybody is sort of saying goodbye to Fox News. Now, I'm still gonna watch Fox News until I, until I believe that there is no hope for them. A, lo a lot of people on Twitter right now are saying, Fox News is lost, I'm moving to Newsmax. I'm still gonna watch Fox News. I'll watch Newsmax, I'll watch Fox News, I'll watch CNN, I'll watch MSNBC. That's my job, right? I gotta watch all of these companies, I gotta read every article I can so I can get you the best information. But Chris Reddy, Newsmax, these are, this is a very, very good source of news. They're very re reputable and I highly recommend them. Now, this is all part of what I'm, a new thing that I'm doing called Mr. Reagan Headlines. Uh, these are shorter videos that I'm doing with a lot of my perspective in it. I'm reading the headlines, I'm reading the articles, and I'm giving my perspective on the news because the news is going so fast right now, right? It's hard to keep up. I can't make these long form videos in time, right? I have to do shorter videos. Um, I'm still gonna be doing my regular videos, um, but I'm also gonna do these little shorter news videos as well. If you like these, go ahead and comment in the comment section below, or if you don't like them, let me know that too. Um, all right, well, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget, to subscribe. President Washington began this tradition in 1790 after reminding the nation that the destiny of self-government is finally staked on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. For our friends in the press who place a high premium on accuracy, let me say, I did not actually hear George Washington say that.